Fantastic Mario. Who will be the favorite off of several choices we're going to display here? And we're going to see how good Who you are. Who has the finest cheerleaders? Whose cheerleaders would you bone first? Pittsburgh Steelers or Green Bay Packers? And Vic specifically left Green Bay with a low boot <laughs> to tell him something. And can we hear from some of our lesbian friends out there? <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait about, a minute. Because we have a few lesbian friends who watch football. Right. Not big on it, but hey. those who do, please comment on the cheerleaders. That's right. Hey. We want to get everybody. That's okay. You know what? I accept. I'm like the backup quarterback. That's the Green Bay. Hey, that's that's like Packers. the backup quarterback. That the guy who throws two interceptions as a backup, they accept that because he says, well, you're not supposed to be performing at a high level. I'm just trying to figure out the, you know, when you think about the Green Bay Packers, right? I'm still with that Packers. You know, what I mean? it's from the Meat Packers, but some people call them Fudge Packers. I knew he was going there. I'm, I wouldn't know myself. I'm leaving that alone. Let me go over to this section here before he gets lost in all of Twitter. Okay, we got who will be the favorite? Pittsburgh Steelers, Green Bay Packers, and we have seven categories ranging from coaching, quarterback. Rushing, offense, defense, sacks, interception. So, Mark, we're going to do the best we can to go, like, put the mark where we think the favorite is. And so, if you are ready for this, man, go on and give him your wisdom and knowledge. We're going to start off first here. Coaching. Who has the advantage? Green Bay's Mike McCarthy or Mike Tomlin? And you got to include the staff because, <laughs> geez. You know, they always say the head coach is big, and it's so unfair because I know it's not really the head coach. Half the time, it's their ability right. to hire the right folks. And you right. realize that there's no cap salary issues, right. caps or anything on your assistants, right? Right. So some teams invest in, in a lot of coaches. True. You know, and Tomlin, they got, come on now, they got Dick, come on. I, they, they, got, they got LeBeau. <laughs> See, that's I mean, I Green Bay, I said, but coaching. Green Bay got good good assistance too, that, really hot assistance too. I don't know, it's a wash. It's a wash, so it's even. It's real, yeah. It's even. Both, you know, maybe that's why they're there, right? Top yeah. assistance, right. well organized, attention to detail. Because as far as I know, Tomlin is not an offensive coach. No. So whoever you want to give credit for, right? You know, and LeBeau is really doing the defense up. Remember, the head coach allows you to be the head coach. So true. There is some issue with those assistants who need some acknowledgement there. True, true. You know, but I'd say that's a wash. Both teams are well coached. Okay. Then let me go over to the next one. Quarterback, Aaron Rodgers, Ben Roethlisberger. They have both have something that gives them the extra, which I keep saying I think quarterbacks will all evolve to this. Mobility. They both have mobility. Who are you giving the favor to on this one? Boy, I'm going to call it a wash. Wow. But for totally different reasons. Straight up arm, runs fit well, elegant, dainty, straight up precision, Aaron Rodgers. Ben Roethlisberger is probably the hardest quarterback to tackle in the NFL. Yes. For whatever reason. And it's not as graceful, but he sure moves around and makes stuff happen. True. He has, and, and is not the same kind of an arm, right. even though a good, solid arm. Right. Not the same kind of, Aaron Rodgers looks like precision, Absolutely. just pistol man. Yeah. But Ben's ability to make stuff happen, you just can't count that out. It's right. phenomenal. Right. And he did it so many times in the past game. And I keep going, you know, you're not, even, you're big, but still you would think that at least there was going to be worried about hitting you. Right, but still he manages to elude. No, I got to give Ben more credit here because he has that. He also has that extra factor that he can pull crazy stuff out of the bag, and he's right. so young and like, hey, you know what? Let's play football. <laughs> you know what? Oh. Yeah, I can't believe he's doing that. <laughs> I mean, he's such a meathead sometimes, but that's okay. <laughs> you can tell he's having fun. I know he. Is. I like I like Ben Roethlisberger. I do, and I just think it's a wash for different reasons, though. Well, I agree. Different and reasons. I'm gonna say this. Uh, here's the other part. Ben, the one thing I was shocked about this last game against the New York Jets, never did I think they were going to lay back and not bring the blitzes. The idea that they were ready to settle back and let him play without pushing him, and I was kind of thrown off to say, I know he's good. But 
you're going to try to get to him with a, just a what they call the average press and say just fall back on the receiver. So I'm going to say this. I believe Green Bay is going to bring more of the rush. They got better linebackers, way better linebackers than New York Jets. They have schemes. They're, they're ranked higher in defense. I'm not saying that they're better than Pittsburgh, but I'm going to say this. Aaron Rodgers, they say there's no replacement for speed. And I think his element, he's like what you call, you don't expect him to run, but he knows exactly when to move out of the pocket. Ben, they say, okay, you, I, you, you can put your hands on me. You may slow me down, but I'm still get the ball away. He could be subject to being more rattled to me. Now, he, 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 he could be. It's just that, be. the, you know, if you're going on could, but at, at some point in time, you have to, for me, especially for him, because I really wasn't right. a believer either. Yeah. I mean, you could say a bunch of stuff he could. But he actually does it. No, and Mario, the he part, does, he just the money. keeps pulling it off. He keeps, keeps pulling, pulling it off. He has two Super Bowls. I have to give it he, to him. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I, he has two Super Bowls. I think the part that gets me is, is that I'm not really concerned about the wash between Ben and Aaron. I think the part that gets me is that the offense, who has the weapons on offense? I think they, I agree with you. It's a wash. But you it's know, a, I just don't know. It's hard. It's, you know where to me, the line play is going to be critical. Right. The line play because you think that you you know the question is who can get to who right and I'm not so sure I have an answer for that yeah and I think there here's the difference where I'm tilting towards Pittsburgh Steelers when it comes to the rushing game Mendenhall adds a different element than James Starks so if I had to vote between the two James's speed he's elusive to a certain degree but you can stop him he's not the he's not he's not Ryan who obviously is injured off the Green Bay Packers. Mendenhall is a beast. So if I had to give an advantage on the rushing, I'd say Pittsburgh. What about yourself? Slight. Slight. Okay. Slight. Okay. Only because I just think that in terms of the the the, the people up front, yeah. It's going to be it's going to be different. Yeah. This is going to be different. It's okay. not it's not going to be like Jets. Okay. okay. They're not going to get. They're not going to uh, be able to do the same things in the same kind of way. Right. So, but I think they may. The I think I, I think the Pittsburgh has a. I have. I think they have a better edge in terms of the front four offensive line. You know. Okay. I think. You think? Yeah. I mean, look. I agree. I, I think there's a bit I, of an edge there. Yeah. I'm giving the rushing. Uh, advantage to Pittsburgh only because of their front line so experienced. But, yeah, me too. It's a but, it's a slight edge, but it may not actually end up being right. And but I'm gonna also take it away for a moment. The reason why I'm saying that is because their center, Pouncey, oh, is yeah. injured. He is an and all star. And the dude, 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 dude mess, right. So when you move somebody out like that, ordinarily, I'd give you the advantage. So I'm gonna turn it around and go. I'm got to go and with Green, Green Bay, Bay about to bring the big old nose guard. right. <laughs> Let's see. So, advantage on this Big, one. Big, heavy, thick old fat ones, though. <laughs> the freezer. <laughs> the freezer. So I don't know. No. You know, even though I think, I think, I think Pittsburgh can protect the quarterback better Ooh. than Green Bay can. But I'm not so sure. I think that Roethlisberger's going, I think Matthews is going to get him. I, I, I think so, too. And the, the part that gets me, after seeing Nagurski, he's the backup center. You can't replace an all-star center. You can replace a center no. who's a starting, but this guy is an all-star. Well, centers are hard anyway. Yeah. Anytime you lose your starting center. Right. You know, even though I, I argue to people, offensive linemen in general are more difficult to to replace than even defensive linemen because of the complexities and how much you need the cohesiveness. Right. As opposed to on defense, you know, the line, people can do different kinds of things. But you really need that cohesiveness on offense. It yeah. just, just, all of a sudden, you won't be able to do things. True. And I think the chemistry and knowing your assignments all change. So the injury he has, although the, he doesn't require sur surgery, Pouncey, they say it's a four-week recovery. Well, he doesn't have four weeks. And even if he came back in two or three, he would not be at full 100%. So I tilt the advantage in this one over to Green Bay. Total offense, Mario. Which team has the advantage, Pittsburgh or Green Bay? Total offense. Wash. Wash. What about total I'm sorry, defense? I hate to say that. 
Uh, Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. So you're giving the advantage on defense to Pittsburgh, rightfully so. I would do the yeah, same. Yeah, but um, see, offense, man, you know, it's the way I'm, I, you know, it's going to come down to execution. Yeah, I'm going to go with on offense. I hate to say this because they're clicking at all levels. I think if any team that's going to challenge Pittsburgh's secondary, remember they're, they're, Pittsburgh's main thrust to me as how they make their name is on the front line defense. They're good with their front line defense. They got the defensive ends, and they got the immediate. Their linebackers are not as well known because their defensive ends play it, and Troy Palomalu plays that safety linebacker rover kind of unique valve. But the one thing I noticed that New York Jets game, he wasn't really part of you know, the game. and he did some bad tackling too. Yeah, he did. So he I did some bad tackling. He missed yeah. someone's bad. He ducked his head. That's right. All routine. You duck your head, and right. that's it. Right. And and I think Green Bay brings you so much. Yeah. When they get out well, they're beyond the secondary, them. they're, they're going to test, test them. The biggest test of the year for them. Just like people test Woodson. Yes. You're right. You're absolutely right. And you can beat them. You just have to be on. You have to just be on it. He's accurate enough. Aaron Rodgers' accuracy is so superb. Yes. That you have to give him. But like I said, Ben has that quality of making stuff. That's like not in the books. Right. I don't. He just does it. Right. So, you know, you, you, I don't know. That's why I go like wash. Oh, right. Defense, edge to the Steelers. Okay. And what about the sacks? Who is going to be more susceptible to getting sacked? They're both going to be sacked. Who do you think is going to uh, accumulate the most sacks? Probably Green Bay, but it won't be by much because I think that Roethlisberger is going to get sacked too. Okay. In other words, I think that you're probably both quarterbacks are going to be sacked Okay. Five times at least. Okay. And I agree with you on this one. I give the edge to Green Bay on sacks because they got that linebacker tandem that's off the chain. They got Matthews and I forgot the other guys from Ohio State. Uh, he, he's, uh, he's unbelievable. And they got Woodson. So they come with the wrath and they lead the NFL and quarterback sacks. Right. So I have to go with them. But, on see, but, but okay, well, that's where I'll be a little different because I think the edge goes here. Okay, I think, well, there's a question. Good and good. See, on a wash, Vic, almost to me on the personnel, because you could argue Palomalo on the blitz versus Woodson on the blitz. That's almost a wash to me. Right. They're both excellent on the blitz. On 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 the blitz. I just give. I just think so much of Dick LeBeau's right. creativity. Right. In terms of his approach defensively, right. that I think he he brings. You got to give an edge for that for having him. He's part of the coaching as the, def- as the coach. Yes, yeah, I, yeah. I, I I didn't. I, you're doing the thing that because I recognize. The defense, it's, the part def- of, it's part yeah. of the coaching. Yeah, it's part of coaching. Because defense is a philosophy, and I and I just think there's an edge there. That's a distinct edge with LeBeau. I think right. he's just proven to be so creative defensively. Right. And you know how many people, in other words, you wonder, like they talk about the number of defensive sets right. that Pittsburgh does to confuse. Right. Everybody doesn't do all that. Right. And I, and, I, and here's the part that I, I agree with you. I think the part that we're both, we're tilting here just to like minor points. I just take, Troy Palomalu is what they call the man who says, I have to make a decision to come up to stop the run or get back there and help Ike Turner and Ryan Clark in the secondary, which is the weakness of the Pittsburgh Steelers. They're more aggressive and more defensive mind up front. They don't let you get past with the rushing game, which allows people to fall back and say, hey, look, we are so good up front, we don't have to crash you with a front line of six to eight blitzes. We can sit back and fall back and let Tro- Troy Palomalu sit back. The part I think they're going to get tas- tested on is that Green Bay has true five elbow dr- receivers from tight end to wide receivers. They cross the middle. Troy's going to have to hang back. And I think that part is going to challenge him. And he, and he has to play help support like he well, did with New York Jets. We certainly will see. I will add this, too. Green Bay is, is certainly creative enough, too, to have a 300-pound lineman <laughs> drop back into pass coverage. Okay. And go and end up with an interception and a touchdown, right? True. So I don't even know. I just think it's so interesting. One, that's why at least this is a game I want to watch now. Yeah. And I actually, even though I have a, a tendency to root a little bit more toward... Pittsburgh.